do I begin? We're on Boston Whalers 380 Outrage today, and this center console is so dang big, there's so much going on, I hardly know where to begin. So let's start right here up front with this big, beautiful lounger, because I'll tell you what, on a scale of one to 10, this lounger, I give it an 11. And if you want even more relaxation space, it's right up there. Now let's say it's time for lunch on the hook. Well, you just hit a button and up comes the dinette table. So if you're ready for lunchtime, of course you're gonna remove this cushion from the table. Now you've got a nice teak tabletop. But what if it's time to go fishing? Well, let's lower this table back down and see what else we can do. Okay, so it's time to fish. Now you got your table down low. You can stand on it. It's not a problem. It can be a part of your casting deck. And on top of that, you pull these cushions, get them out of the way, and now you've got non-skid. So once again, you've got casting deck all up forward. Back here in the cockpit, there's an aft bench seat that folds out of the transom for more seating. And directly across, you've got another seat right over here. Luckily today, we've got a factory guy here with us, and I'm so glad because, you know, I'm really wondering at this point, after looking at all the luxury touches, can this boat really do double duty as a serious fishing machine? Len, absolutely. Let me show you. Right now, we can convert this couch into a bait prep station. We have a 60-gallon live well in the back that has a divider in it, and, of course, we have our vertical rod storage right here, right where you would use it. You know, Will, I still got one concern here. What happens when I hook my 1,000-pound marlin, huh? Are you going to be able to maneuver this big outboard boat on it? We grab the joystick right here, and we can vector the back of the boat anywhere we want in relationship to the fish. If you want to have it on the quarter so you can get it up to the dive door, the joystick really allows us to maneuver the boat with great ease. It's amazing how maneuverable a center console this big can be when running, too. Carving out tight turns is no problem and the 23 degree dead rise hull bottom grips the water in hairpin turns. With a triple 350 horsepower Mercury Verados on the transom, we cruised at 4,000 RPM at right around 27 miles an hour. At wide open throttle, oh, we were kissing up against 50. We hit 49.8, and that was with a load of fuel. So a light boat, it's gonna break that 50 mile an hour mark. Of course, if you're gonna pile that much horsepower on a boat this big, you better make sure it's built right. Now, Whaler is well known for their glass, foam glass sandwich construction. But here at the dive door, we can get a really good look at some of the pieces parts they use as they put this boat together. Here at the dive door, you can gain some real insight. Check out the hinges, for example. These are some heavy duty stainless steel pieces. Check out the latch, more of the same. Look, the 380 Outrage, this is one big, bodacious center console. There's a whole lot more I'd like to talk about, but we're just simply out of time. If you think this might be the right kind of boat for you, come visit our website, check them out, do some research, and in the long run, you might even end up taking one for a test run. But if you do, I got one suggestion. Set aside a whole day, because there's a whole lot going on.